Good Monday morning, everyone, and welcome to Daytime Tri-Cities. I'm Chris McIntosh, along with Anna Zook on a rainy, rainy, rainy Monday morning. Yes, a rainy morning. Kind of hard to start the day and the week off, especially for kids going back to school. This mm -hmm. is their first day, first full day, first full week. What so. is it that the song says, rainy days and Mondays always get me down? Yeah. not today. Not today. Not, not today. Not I'm sure a lot of kids, though, are excited. Oh, you yeah. know, you talked about how your kids were excited when they finally mm -hmm. were able to go back to school. So hopefully that continues. Now the Washington County folks are joining in yep. on the party. So uh, lots of folks out there. And folks, it is raining out. Like we said, it's just pouring rain out there. We've already had reports of several wrecks on the interstate this morning. So let's slow down a little bit. Just be a little more careful mm -hmm. out there, especially around the school zones this afternoon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Especially mm -hmm. because, like you said, mm -hmm. not only kids getting out of school, but buses, right. kids walking home from school, everything yeah. like that. Let's be careful. Yes, we exactly. Want, we want to keep everybody safe and healthy. Exactly. <laughs> so I had a big weekend Friday. I know. You got the big move in. Yes, Friday moved and got everything out. It was a long day, exhausting day. Saturday, I was so tired. I was kind of worthless. I didn't even really get to unpack a lot of stuff because, right. but, but, how I like to uh, kind of compensate for that is we had a lot of things delivered, like our washer and dryer right. and, you know, that kind of stuff. So you had to be there and make sure everything went well. So all got, got all that done. And we had we just had a fun time getting to know the house a little bit. And I unpacked the kitchen yesterday. So I was I was uh, pro well, the kitchen's the that. most important place. It is. It is. It's and you eat every day, so you got to get all the silverware and everything like that out. But it was it was a long day yesterday. Are you going to be? Are you still going to be living out of boxes a little bit till yes. everything gets? Oh out? yes, definitely. I'm not really even thinking about you know decorating the house or anything like that until after the wedding in Good. September because there's Good. just so much going on right you gotta now. You got to prioritize. Yes, exactly. Yes. Well, and we're going out of town this weekend, going to one of my friend's weddings in Seattle. I'm her maid of honor, so you know I want to be able to focus yeah. on that and everything. So I have a feeling we'll be in boxes for a while. And you actually had a little visitor come by your house. Yes. Your new house. So this is what's so great. Our house, the backyard, kind of goes up to a farm. And so uh, we've kind of learned over the past couple of days there's a pattern to the cows. So we see cows in our backyard, basically. They migrate over in the morning, and then they go back yeah. in the evening. Right. So it's fun because you get to see them for a lot of the day. Um, so that's really nice. But one thing that was very entertaining to me yesterday was a baby cow got loose. A calf got yes, loose. Yes, a calf there. got loose. There, there it is. is. And this is a video I took. <laughs> and it was just, you can see my dog, you can hear my dog in the background barking. Well, that, I started to say, that's just, an awful big dog you have It was just here. running around. It was so <laughs> close to our fence. And it was just hilarious. And it was, it was just very entertaining. One of the neighbors saw mm -hmm. it up the street. So he was chasing after it. It was really funny. And so finally I went over and helped him and introduced myself and everything like we that. We should just make Make it a pet. Just put it in your backyard and let it run around. I, you know what, that'd be okay. I'm not sure if my dog Max would appreciate that because his first interaction with the cows when they were close to the fence was he was like, "What are those?" You know, that's a pretty big dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was really fun. We're enjoying it a lot. Good. Yeah. It was hard to wake up this morning though after a oh, I'll bet. pretty uh, tough weekend, pretty exhausting weekend. Yeah. It was hard to wake up. I had a, I had a really good weekend. Just uh, got a lot of errands done on mm -hmm. Saturday, things that we've been putting off and mm -hmm. taking care of some things. And and so uh, it was just a fun family weekend. Yeah. So, yeah. Lots of errands. You said you got some new stuff too, some good deals that yeah. you saw. I did find some good deals. Won't go into all of it, but my wife got a new phone. And nice. We, and so she's really happy about that. And, and so everybody's got a smartphone now. Because my boys only had we had they, we bought them their first cell phones and uh -huh. they were just flip phones right and we but said now you show us for a year that you're responsible uh -huh. and then we'll upgrade. Well, this weekend they got old hand-me-down phones that were smartphones from their mom and I. Nice. So we had to go and do all the the plan yep. and everything and I had Which I've got can a, take I've got a, a new phone number now so yeah so that's exciting yeah. though I I always love getting anything new whether it's a phone TV right. anything like that it's fun so yeah it was a fun weekend and uh, Good. took my mom out to lunch yesterday and uh, and, just and you helped to move her too a little well, right just, well just no not moving her just helping her in and out of the where she lives mm -hmm. and we have a van that has a lift on it and everything so mm -hmm. we can take her out places oh that's nice so we took her to lunch yesterday oh that's so, wonderful yeah. and, and I'm sure she family, appreciated it too. my sister and her family joined us so we had a great a great time wonderful yes that's so, great yeah good weekend great.
great I hope weekend. everybody had a safe and happy weekend. But we're ready to get this week started because we have a brand new person in the kitchen today. Talk yes, to us we about do. It. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it's it. It's a new food <laughs> truck roaming around the Tri Cities. So yes. we have them in the station, in the studio, in the kitchen, whipping up some tacos. All right. and it smells really good. And we got a lot of great guests. We got a whole row of folks over here, smiling faces that we're looking at this Monday morning. But be sure now to stay tuned for our daily Pledge of Allegiance. It's brought to you by Botman Bernard. Today's pledge comes from Alana Brown, Kaya Simmons, and Zeta Cutshaw from Girls Incorporated.